Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jason. Dramatic much. Hi guys. <laughs> my name is Jessie Drumore and you're welcome to my YouTube channel. Somebody on Twitter actually said that Nigerian YouTubers stop using hi guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I'm going to go back. <laughs> I'm going to go back to my old Jesu Dumo. Are you guys ready? Okay. Jesu Dumo. to my youtube channel welcome a round of applause for you please I'll be talking for yourself. today i will be talking about what to do while waiting for bar finals or how to wait for results hi guys it's so nice to have you here today we'll be talking about what to do while waiting for results and i know that the target audience for this video is actually law nigerian law school students that are beating the nigerian bar finals exams and are waiting for the results to come out and you know but this video would still be applicable to anybody who has written exams and is waiting for results especially when the exams are qualifying exams or when the exams are when there is a large gap between the period of time that the exams are written and when the results will eventually come out. So let's get right into it. Number one, stop marking your exams. Some people look at me like, the most are you talking about? What do you mean by marking my exam? I can't mark my exam. Yes, I acknowledge that you cannot mark your exam. But one thing I've noticed that a lot of people do a lot of times is they go over the exam paper in their head. And it, it's, it's, it's funny because there's nothing you can do about it. Every time you go about the errors of your script, every time you go about what you did right or what you did wrong or what you could have done better, you are marking your script. And the truth is, you are not going to mark your script. You are not in charge of your script. Since you submitted your script, let the thoughts that go with your script just go with that submission because there's nothing you can do about it. The result is the result that will come out. A lot of people replay all the... I did it for a long time and I'm speaking about it because... I feel like it is a it is a trap that a lot of people tend to fall into. Like there was particular exa there was particular paper that I was going to draft a letter. I was going to draft a letter, but I didn't end up drafting the letter. Things are avoidable like that. I genuinely believe that you can move on. It is better for you. Things are avoidable like that. It's better for you to just stop thinking about it. Now let me make this analogy for you as to, to butcher. I'm going to paint two analogies for you to buttress why you should move on and why you should stop thinking about it. Number one is the poo analogy, yeah, poo shift, yeah, feces. When you eat food, imagine writing the exam and putting the food in your mouth and chewing. The rest, after it happens there, forget about it. The rest, after it happens there, forget about it. Let me paint an analogy for you. Writing bar finals is like, you are either pregnant or you are not pregnant. After doing all you can, maybe by artificial insemination or by, by artificial insemination or by sexual act and you take a test when you pee on a test on a stick and you're waiting for the results to come out there's nothing that you do by your thoughts or action in the period that you're waiting for that test results to tick double that mood influence the results Overthinking the exam, going over the T's you could have dotted and the I's you could have, going over the I's you could have dotted and the T's you could have crossed, will change nothing. Another example is imagine that you're a man with a wife and your wife is pregnant and about to deliver and she's being moved into surgery for maybe a cesarean operation. And for the purposes of this analogy, I will be creating a grading system. Now, that grading system is triplets will be first class. Twins will be second class offer. A girl child, without intending to cause any rift or um, issues right now, a girl child would be having a a girl child would be having a second class lower and a boy child would be having a pass. Now having a premature baby or baby that will need a lot of medical assistance would be a conditional pass and having a dead baby, giving back to a dead baby or the loss of any life would be having a fail. Apart from the life of the mother of course. Now when you are outside waiting for the surgery going on inside, 
There is nothing you can do about the surgery inside. No matter how you fret, no matter how you bother yourself, the results that they will up, what will determine the results, those inside and the mother. So your paper is that script that has undergone surgery of Nigerian law school lecturers. Forget about it. Forget about the marking system or the marking scheme or anything. Just leave it into their hands and believe in God and leave it into God's hands. Do you understand? Moving on. I hope you understand the analogy. Number two, rest. A lot of times people are like, oh, what can I do? Oh, this is what I plan to do after. Once I finish the exams, like, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. For a lot of people, me, for example, I left law school. The day I finished my exams, I used the next day to pack. The next day, I went to shop. The next day, I was in camp. I literally did not have a breathing space between that time. And even though there are a lot, a lot of benefits, like I will explain in my next video for leaving law school and going to NYC camp straight, like finishing before your mates, it is essential for me to state that you need rest. You need rest. You need it. I would dwell on this point better in part two. So I'll, I'll, I need to move to the next point, which is talk it out. Rather than believe and torture yourself in your head, I believe that you can always talk to somebody whenever you feel overwhelmed about the thought of your results or exams or boarding about anything. Talk to somebody. Now, I advise that you don't talk to somebody that is going to the same thing as you. Talk to a senior colleague or talk to or talk to um, or talk to a friend, not necessarily a law student. I'm so tired. I have been up. This is nine and it's about 1 30 trying to record this video so if you're watching this watch it to the end thank you talk about your fears some people usually have panic attacks if you know you're one of those people get a diary every time you have a panic attack try to remember what triggered the panic attack write it down try to remember how you handle the panic attack write it down and write down the dates that diary is just for you to talk about your fears and worries okay so for example today the 16th of may 2021 <laughs> like on the 16th of may 2021 my mom said my mom called me my mom asked me when i'll become a barista and i just talked about the fact that my results can come out and i might not be a barista by then talk about it Talk about how you handled it so the next time a panic attack is about to creep up you need to go back to that book and look at how you handled it to help you to record what you really can't do and what you really trigger you and finally maintain a positive atmosphere this is similar to number three but it's different because a lot of people i'm not going to um and one thing i used to do when i was in law school was read confessions after <laughs> after law school happened after law exams happened I, all my positive confessions disappeared. I just went from expecting it to be casual work in the park to ah, God, even if it's just pass, let me just pass and go. Let me just pass and go. No, you don't have to do that. I believe that there is always one of the ways you can maintain a positive attitude is not about focusing on the result, but focusing on the aftermath of having the result. For example, I already explained the analogy of having triplets. Now imagine yourself as the father outside the room of surgery. You're going to write out what you and your wife want, which is for the triplets, then write first class, second class, third class, or aka pass. Because there's no third class in Nigerian law school. If your school has um, pass, then you write number four, um, fail. Now, write what you would do. The advantages of having first class, write it out. If you believe there are any disadvantages, write it out. Second class, do that for each class. After doing that, after writing out the advantages and disadvantages, write the steps you will take if you have any of those results. So if you fail, God forbid, God forbid, God forbid, write out what you will do if you fail. Now, after doing that, write any colleague, senior colleague you know, and I say senior colleague in case you because any senior colleague you know that had triplets, aka first class, or has had um, a second class, write it, write it. So now you know that you have a roadmap. You know that you have a clear cut out advantage and disadvantage based system and finally you know that you have a human guide for you that has been through what you're going to go through be maintaining the positive attitude not just about the clean first class or no first class it's about being balanced regardless regardless of what happens regardless of what you see on the computer screen when you eventually check your results Finally, and I'll be giving the jab method technique for a lot of people. I read about it online, and this is my final, this is the final thing I'm saying. You write down what you want. No, you write down your worst fears. Your worst fears. Your worst fears is like they've never found your paper, or they told you that you were not a member of the Nigerian school. Whatever your worst.
much to ever write it down. Guess what? The next thing you are advised to do: boil it, then flush it. Literally, that's what it's a jabbering and technique already online. So you can try that out. If it helps, let me know. I may have tried it before, but just bring you anything I can do to help. So guess um, you guys should get ready for part two. Part two will be coming up. Thank you very much for watching this video to the end. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment. Thank you.